to 112 half area, which is also the gap fill off of that August falling window. So that's that's kind of the area I'd be focusing on on, on SJ Smuckers. Yeah, my pleasure. Lower studies look good. Uh, there's still room on the stochastic, the RSI acting. Um, you know, and I'm the type of person that, you know, let your winners kind of work for you. You know, this still looks like it might have further room. Uh, one thing I do not like, again, you know, volume is as it's pushing up, it's making lighter and lighter and lighter volume. So we've had, you know, four consecutive days of up moves. And actually, if you look at the lows, you've had <clears> six consecutive days of up moves. Uh, so this is getting a little bit stretched. So getting to that 109.88 is not a bad idea to start shaving some off. And then, you know, trail it and see if you could sneak it up to the uh, 112 to uh, 112 half area. All right, we're back. Yeah. All right. Let's watch this two twelve fifty eight again oh, on sorry. Facebook. Oh, sorry. All right. <laughs> right two twelve fifty eight. Let's see what we got. See. All right. Right now. see much on the tape right now there's 300 <clears throat> contracts we have seen a little bit of improvement at the nice sea uh, earlier we were down about one and a half to one uh we're down one and a quarter to one man that uh and nasdaq has also improved stream elements enough. bot is pretty uh, delayed six to one we're currently up 1.8 advancers for every decline at the nasdaq you've already old news spike up and now it's kind of bleeding off a little bit and the tick remains muted pretty much all day no buy or sell programs to be spoken of been pretty much between the f plus 500 to uh, minus 500 all day they say don't short a dull market okay here we go nice pop on cisco yeah, there's 900, Ooh. There, 900 shares that guy's selling 900 shares right there very nice this one well now Four. it's down yeah 400 so 58 there's 500 guys sitting there we need otherwise it four would be 800 not 900 no it's 400 there's five six oh, okay oh i see you're adding yeah. oh shoot sorry guys say p what's the symbol for nicey in think or swim do you know yeah here let me pull it up i think it's a dollar sign nysc uh let me see. Max R now seventeen seventy two when we looked at it this morning, closer to seventeen thirty. It was under seventeen bucks the first time I looked at it. Sixteen ninety eight just keeps Mel, moving up. She was just saying that um, RNG reports tonight, so that might be why we're seeing some flow in some of the software names. Pete, I have dollar sign T I C K. That's the tick, yeah. Yeah, I, I tried dollar sign NYCE and NYSE, and I didn't pull up anything in Thinkorswim. But yeah, Eric, I got the dollar sign tick. Um, I was wondering what the NYCE was. I mean, I think he was talking about the advancers and decliners on the NYSE, and I think that's a that's a totally different one. Is that what you're looking for? Um, I like you know. As, as SGU you gives you the advanced decline line, the NICE, the advanced decline, the UVOL, DVOL. So, like in Thinkorswim, I have the tick, and I've been able to find the 
um, Uvol, Devol, and ADD for the advanced. Um, but the NICE, I hear Pete talk about sometimes. I, I just don't know what that is. So, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Volume has really it's slowed here on ABBV. Is what that is. I don't, it, there, it doesn't, there's nothing that, it doesn't actually trade that I know of. I could be wrong, it's but not that I the know of, it doesn't actually trade. The, yeah, yeah, I mean, you can look at the internals, but um, that, I mean, I use dollar sign tick for that. To, or, well, I mean, to look at, you know, buy sell programs and then whatever script Pete had given us is what I used for advanced decline. Yeah, that was a trick. Oh, question. so the trick's good enough then just to get an idea of, you know, what's moving up and down then? Correct. That's the exchange. Okay. That's the New York Stock Exchange. And they have stocks that trade at the New York Stock Exchange, like they do at the exchange, the NASDAQ Exchange, the Chicago Board. You know, they've got different exchanges around the world. Um, so when I'm talking about advancers and decliners at the New York Stock Exchange, I'm talking about stocks that trade within the New York Stock Exchange. Oh, I got it. Makes sense. So for us, dollar sign tick, at least for me, is good enough, I'm guessing. Yeah. Because like Mario was saying, it gives you a good idea of, you know, those buy sell programs. Right. And I think I've heard you mention in the past where you said 400s like decent buying, 600s moderate. When you start getting to 800,000, that's kind of extreme on either side, right? No, when you're looking at the tick on the thinkorswim, and they differ from like TradeStation, and there's different programs out there, platforms. But on thinkorswim, anything between plus 500 and minus 500 is a nothing burger. There's nothing going on. When you get above a positive 600 or below a negative 600, that's some decent buying or selling. A small sell program is negative 800. A small buy program is positive 800. A big buy program is anything over a thousand, and a big sell program is anything under negative one thousand. Oh, oh, here's that pop oh, to twelve fifty. Yeah. Sweet. Thank you, B. Oh yeah, my pleasure. Getting a push up here in the indexes, however, the internals are not necessarily supporting it here. Nice C, or excuse me, the uh, spies pushing up Qs and the ES mini. All right, let's look for that two twelve seventy eight followed by two twelve ninety one on Facebook. <gasps> Keep on going, Cisco. Trying to update all those trades in there in the spreadsheet.
All right, guys. Are so you we, see, we see that uh, Facebook broke through there in that previous resistance. Should it acted as support, but these sellers are relentless at this uh, 212.58 level. These guys are really sticking in the markets, pushing up higher here. Got about an, a little over an hour left. What are you guys watching? I'm watching MO continue to drop here. Did that NCHL end up doing anything? And Cisco, obviously, upside. Uh, if you're an S&P trader, you cannot trade without market. If you trade the S&P minis, you need to look at your SPX, your SPY, and trade the S&P minis because it will give you direction uh, most of the time. Today, it's it's muted, so there really isn't any power behind this move. We're coming up on R1 here. Uh, you know, so it depends on the type of trader you are. You know, if you're buying stock or if you're scalping, you know, you want to know what it's doing just to kind of give you a heads up. So if you're, you know, trading anything on the NASDAQ, you want to watch the Qs. Um you know, and you want to watch the SPY and just general rule of thumb, it'll give you, you know, a heads up. Hey, the market's starting to roll over. Maybe that means if I'm long my position, likely my position will start rolling over as well. And then you've got honey badgers out there, stocks that just don't give a crap. They do their own thing. They don't care what the market's doing. You know, but here, you know, when you start seeing, uh, for example, you know, the S&P's pushing up, the Qs are pushing up and Facebook is pulling back. That's telling you, hey, you know what, this thing is tired or there's some weakness in the name. You know, so depending on the name you're trading, you want to and the market's going up and your position's going down, you know, correlation tells you, hey, so what's going on with my position? And vice versa. If you're short, then the market's going down and your position's it's like, whoa. You know, so you use the internals. You don't have to. But if you're a S&P minis uh, trader, you absolutely need that tip. And the internals. You need the Uval Devo and the uh, advanced decline. I highly recommend using the internals when I use them every time. Like I check them every time, except for if it's something that's really quick and it's like a news driven pop and, you know, I just kind of everything is lining up. If I'm trying to evaluate it, the trade, I, I always take a look at the internals. And the internals throughout the week, you know, you can see, hey, this market keeps going up. But when you look at your advancers and decliners, it's like, listen, man, it's going up, but the advancers do not support this move. You know, so that's when they say, hey, the advancers and decliners, we're looking at five to one, six to one, seven to one. And anytime you see greater than four to one in either direction, that's a trendy market. You know, so when you sit down at the end of the week and you look at your advancers and decliners and we're pushing a higher highs here, guys, you know, you're like, man, this market's pushing up, but there really is no support behind it. You know, so you use what you want, you know, what you're comfortable with, uh, you know, a lot of times it's like, Hey, it's, it's a tool, but I don't need to use that tool. All I need is my hammer. Cause I got a bunch of nails. And yeah, GILD has been seeing a crap load of action. Going. Uh, I've been looking for them to kind of pause. Yeah, I'd like to see them pull back to about the 66 level. Yeah, I think their swim just kind of took a dump on me. It's slow as hell right now. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, pushing the higher highs here.
Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> she's still in there, Stuck. She there. doesn't want to. I'm a fighter. She, yeah. <laughs> So they're going to go 5223. Well, I'm usually always right. So I'm watching. Oh, yeah. The market don't give a crap what you do. Yes. Right? So guys, the market futures are just pushing up. X Young Brand CEO offers insight on dealing with global health scares. That's headline worthy. Okay. We just got a roulette bearish flow alert on LRCX. This week's 317.50 puts. And there's somebody that could be a play on, I think it was AMAT that's reporting this week. Yep. Yeah, that could be a sympathy play for them. Uh, MOC is 200 million for sale. That's not bad at all. No. Like Early MOC, 200, 200 million to the sell side, about 55 minutes left.
Let's go, Abby. Oh, no. Cisco forty eight sixty eight. You're in Twitter. Just saw a Twitter headline on Benzinga. Three reasons to buy Twitter stock. Maybe you'll get a pop on that. It's almost like they're pretending to give us a power hour. It's like the lead up to it. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, just kidding. Watching so the, uh, the the futures here, right? obviously and pushing up. Natasha, it's like, see, it's. It's the price of the stock is actually higher than when you bought it at, but you're actually down a dollar. It's one thirty nine. She's like, they're shysting me. <laughs> we'll pull back there on AMD. Cisco continuing to push up. Understanding Theta and Vega. And I might. Let's see. Oh, seeing a pretty good pop here on the S and P's. If you're in black box, you saw the uh, I put it in my Discord room. Those Cisco forty nine calls, but they're moving really slow. This is not very much. I mean, Cisco yeah, isn't moving that fast, right? The only right, sector but... on the core 11 that's red today is energy. Uh, semiconductors, they're not on the core 11, but they are leading uh, the pack today. They're up 1.7%. And then you got consumer discretionary helped by the uh, 55 bucks that Amazon's up. Technology's up 1%. Uh you got the VIX off 24 cents at 15. MO continuing to the downside. And the 10 year note, this is something of concern here at 150 off the points today. UVXY popping to the upside through VY. UVXY getting a little pop. Here's your uh, one minute on what the line's straight. What happened to what? Tesla just popped through VWAP to the upside. Unwilling full? What are you talking about? Nice. This is Microsoft is ripping. Got her joint some. Yeah, Some Microsoft chat. one well one eighty seven sixty ish. What 
Getting a push up here on the S and P. Nice. I am trading. I'm long futures at the moment. And currently, we are engulfing all of yesterday's uh, thus far today. So if we end up this way or higher, this is a bullish engulfing pattern technically, which doesn't mean crap. And but... they are cranking at the moment. Now, here's this two twelve seventy eight line, guys. Look for a pause here on Facebook if we can continue to look for a 212.91. But a high probability. Spy 334 time. calls in the money. Nice, nice, nice. Fed's Harker out with comments. Now is time for Fed to hold steady on rates. Capital Research Global Investors reports 9.2% passive stake in Luck and Coffee. LK. I don't know why I have. N oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. 91 cents on those Cisco's. I don't know if that's right. Hold on. That's not right. Typo. Um, IPA, I don't think so. Could you try another browser? I know the system works best with Chrome. Uh, I don't know. There was a headline about uh, Fed rates, but... Nice, nice pop. Don't fight it. Just roll with it. Hey, Maria. What's up? Those Harker comments, do you, do you interpret that as being bullish or bearish? Uh, are you talking about Dally or, or the one earlier this morning? Uh, Harker's Fed Harker's, uh, now is the time for Fed to hold steady on rates. I think it's just a lot of the same just middle like middle of the road type of commentary but i haven't read um i haven't read anything other than that right there okay okay thank you you're welcome news headline amazon is stockpiling on products made in china Beyond Meat, 13G filing. Shows GI execution services with a 6.8% stake.
Amazon looking weak. Let's see. I am new to BBS, following your trades closely. Very logical and sound trades. Thanks for that. Quick question. Usually what percent of your option value is your stop loss or is it based on a trailing stop? It's usually based on the chart uh, more so than a percentage. But, you know, AMD, I, that trade was really just about Amazon following that momentum on products made and that products news headline. Uh, that they could replace Intel in some Mac products. What is going on here Thank with my you, stream? That's interesting. Interesting. Getting some interesting bit rate issues. Hopefully you can hear me okay and that's not breaking up. Man, OBS. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I, I was just following this this momentum, and I wanted to keep the stops tight enough that if we got a decent sized pullback, you'd we'd still you know take a good profit on it, and. Sorry, I was pointing at the Cisco chart when I was talking about this, but this pullback right in here, this is what I wanted to avoid writing that down. I didn't want to have to do that. We were up nicely. We were already up like 80% at this point. So I just kept the stops tight and, and just wrote it up. Now, it, before we got to that point, um, I was watching these pullbacks. And it was like, okay, when it pulls back, that contract drops, you know, 10, 15 cents in value. So, you know, until I was happy with the gains, I was keeping my stops about 20 cents below. And I, you know, you saw I was moving the stops up. And then once we got to the point where, all right, the gains are looking nice now, uh, then I just tighten up the stops. Does that make sense? Does that answer your question, Preddy? Something percent stake in Tesla. You know what? That actually brings up a good point. And that's an amended 13G filing. There's probably going to be a lot of people's 13Gs out with a Tesla stake. And then it's, you know, it's from September to December. That could definitely affect the stock this week. Okay, cool. Man, this is, I'm seeing about a 20 second delay or 10 second delay, which it was two seconds. Driving me crazy, I'll tell you. Thanks for information now. Yeah, I'm watching AppV. I wanted to see it break through. I, I took some off here just in case it didn't get through VWAP, but it it looks like it's going to get through it now. But we'll see. This is lower volume than what I'm used to seeing. The CEO on... Um... And if you didn't see it, Preddy... This dark pool, these dark pool transactions here. And uh, this week, the standard B. deviation move on uh, the options. We're now trading right, above that, folks. most of those levels. So I got a good question. Um, somebody DM me in regards to my comment I just made on, on Tesla. So let's say, and this happens every time, but you have some of these bigger hedge funds like um, Tiger Global. Chase All right, Piton. Tiger Global comes out. And um, it's time for you to get off your ass or an increase in his stake or a decrease. And it is one of his top holdings because of his. Um, 
performance record, as those updates come out, can affect your stock. So um, just think of what happened with RH when Buffett came out. Yeah, at this point, I want to see AbV get through VWAP and stay You just have to keep in mind that that information has already occurred. He didn't buy this yesterday or last week. He bought it, you know, it could have been anywhere from September 1st to December 31st. However, when you've got people coming out with new holdings um, or increase and decreasing as that chatter comes out, as we all know, you know, Buffett saying he's in Amazon with a new position has moved Amazon before. So it can have some upward or downward um, effect in your stock when these bigger companies and funds come out with their holdings. Pull back on ZM to the 34, see if that 34 will hold. I just think, you know, my main point with Tesla is kind of double top here. I want to see it break above that 89.96. Was, you know, at the two, 300 you know, that level that we all want to see it get through that on volume. At, yeah. So just be careful, you know, this week if with some of your, you know, play the chart. And I brought this up ZM, you know, reporting <laughs> earnings at that, that area could have an impact. Ring imp- uh, reporting place. earnings could have an impact on ZM. Exactly. On Tesla. So, yep. About a month and a half to two months before ER, there was just massive accumulation in, in that zone. Yeah, I just let that come out, and especially more towards the end of the week, because keep in mind there. Okay, yeah, uh, V like, now it um, just needs to stay above V. Uh, with their taxes, they wait till the last day. So we'll, we will see a lot come out um, all day Thursday, and then uh, we Friday, should see some Friday's continuation. If it can hold up up, up here. Still watching Microsoft, huh? Yep. Just keeps climbing. And every time it does, I sell a little bit of my comments thinking it can't go much higher in the short term and it goes higher. He's also discloses in a 13G filing a 6.6 stake in TTD. 6.5 6.5 in Roku and 5% in SIG. And let's see if Cisco can just keep pushing up. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Microsoft has been a little bit surprising. This is not, you know, not typical Microsoft. Remember in the one, like, high 130s, 136, 138, uh, just struggling between there and, like, 143. And now look at her. $40 from there. Well, you got uh, XLK, uh, VGT. I don't know what the, I think it's like 17% in VGT. That's the Vanguard one. Thanks for the follow. Welcome, Preddy. And welcome to Black Box. Come on, Cisco. 
Let's hide a day here. Okay, we're there. 48.74. Keep pushing. Two days till ER. You got to get higher than that. Uh, gave you that. Well, there is a there is something out there that'll show you, and I think E Trade actually can do it. Um, you can look at like the top holdings in an ETF and see the biggest percentage gainers and losers. Yeah. Come on, Abby. You do just just keep your ass above you up there and we'll be fine. I mean Microsoft's up two percent today. Quite a bit. That may be unwilling fall. I have to look at it. See what I can come up with. They keep recycling that Amazon, seeking to dispose Trump over the uh, Jedi contract. I keep seeing it over and over again. Blue high a day. INTC, AMAT. And Apple. Repeater bullish flow alert on Baba, the February 350s. They're paying $4. February 350s? Um, she meant BA. That's what I, isn't that oh. what I said? Baba. You said Baba. Oh, sorry. I meant <laughs> I said BA. Baba. I was going to be like, yeah, <laughs> damn. 350s sorry, sorry. on Baba? What the frick? Uh, V9449. <laughs> no worries. No worries. <laughs> sorry. I got you, darling. <laughs> I was like, wait, what did I just say? <laughs> uh, it's, all good. it's all good. I was, but I was thinking as soon as you said that, I was like, man, somebody is hella bullish on Bob. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the There's heck? A pull back on Cisco a little bit. Seeing a little pullback on the futures as well, but nothing. Nothing significant. Woohoo, Ava, there you go. Look at, the, God, y'all are getting so damn good. Ava was already looking at those when they started coming in. Look at that eye. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mario, what do you think? Number of concurrent viewers things? here, high a day. With BA, I, mean, I like it. And you all you missed know, AMD I, this I mean, morning. Bucks today. Well, maybe you didn't, but we did play okay, that one so here live. That part's a little bit concerning, but I like, I do like the flow. Um, it's a repeater, oh, so it's, it's come in multiple times. They have, they're at the um, conference this week. Oh. Yeah, I kind of yeah. like it. Well. I would prefer to buy it closer to 340, maybe even 342, but um, I still like it. Getting a little toppy on ES here. What's, uh, what's SPY looking like? What conference are they at, Mel? 
I'm trying to find it. I forget. I think it's a Goldman Sachs, or no, there's an there's a defense one too. Shit. Hold. Yeah, with RTN. Yeah. Whoa, Voldemort to the downside. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. It's the Cohen um, Aerospace Defense and Industrial. You're getting a pullback on Spy. Thank you, thank you. You're Showing tick, thank negative you, 300, nothing serious not yet. Mm. Unwilling full? I don't know. Then yeah. BA's the winner by default. Right now it's getting pulled, it's, it's pulling back. <laughs> the other's going to show up. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see everything kind of pulling back with it. Yep, we got 30 minutes left. Right on. Uh, well, welcome. Joe, are you talking about that um, Cohen conference? Let me know if you have any questions. It's in uh, New York City on February the 12th. <laughs> Still got to put a mask up there. <laughs> what do you get when you cross a movie droid with road construction? Did you get some of that AMD sick, Nick? R2 detour. Oh, okay. That sucks. That's no good when your internet's out. Yo, Mel, you playing early? You playing ER? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> From Friday after dark. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thank you, Bartholomew. Jeez. You did well on Tesla up. puts. Nice. You'd have to take a spiritual llama. Retreat. Man, I, oh, God. God, I don't even want to talk about it. BD. I did okay yeah, on I, Tesla. I, I could have done a lot better, but... <laughs> I don't really play it, so I was hesitant to play it anyway. I did play it to the downside a little bit last week. But Tesla just, man, that, especially right now, like as, as much as it's moving and as expensive as those contracts are, I'm like, eh. Work hard enough for the gains I do get. I don't want to give them all up on one Tesla trade. Okay, so so last night you've got one of our members who um, is in Haiti, and he is trying to teach people about you know financial planning. He, uh, got a lot of members on with black box and uh, was just sharing with everybody there and their like black box clothes and their shirts and hoodies and stuff like that. And we're all like, man, that's so cool. You know, like you're, you're really trying to uplift people and get them educated. You know, it's not really something that most, you know, are pervy to over there. And he's trying to, you know, like help lift up people and have this group of support for people. And he's just like all this positive stuff and everything else. And then here's BD. Right in the middle of it, posts his, ah. posts his llama picture. He's like at painting with a twist or some shit. I don't even know, but we're like, he must not have seen any Info of the conversations. Info says sis to we're purchase like, Simplus. <laughs> he's worried about No llamas. terms specified. We, this guy just, I don't know. a whole nation. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. Oh. 
Maybe I'll keep me. There's an interesting trade, guys. They just uh, Peloton definitely struggling with uh, getting get anywhere near 29. Claws on. Treasury notes 188 on Microsoft. Showing the TLT going higher and interest rates going. Seeing uh, March 6 weeklies accused by right selling the 235 call. 10,000 contracts. You're right, gang. Yeah, what's up? Oh, nothing. You're just quiet. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just over here uh, thinking about, yeah, that Friday. It was it was cool. That was awesome. That was some good laughs, a good time, and a lot of people got a lot of questions answered. Thanks a lot for being there, King. Hey, no problem, man. It was my pleasure, man. I'm glad to be on here with you guys. Let's look, was, look we had at a good time. five. Yeah, I can look at five. Five below. Bobby, I figured you was already at the party, man. So I don't discount oh, stores. I don't know anything Friday. about these guys. You might guys. have been messed up, Bobby. Last earnings, slight beat. Seeing some repeat activity come into CL Colgate for March 2080 calls. Um, this doesn't cover the earnings, which I'm showing is April 24th. Yeah, this is looking uh, Wouldn't CL be like shit. Yeah. Once it dropped below that 112.27, open the door for some more downside. Get a two hour. Oh, May see some support in here around 105. The 108, 105, you know right Dan in here. Has been working on the store. Possible. I'm not sure where it's at at the moment. I think one, so, like to go under 100 might be tough. That would take you through all of this. Not to say it can't happen, the same but thing. it's uh, definitely, Mr. if you look at the you trend know, I here. I just go to Walmart and get me some, uh, get me like a paint pen and some uh, black draws and just draw the logo on there and wear it up. Let's see what happens if we draw a... I'm about to do that because I've been seeing people with... Don't with lie, Kang. You're going to steal your wife's cricket. Let's see what happens if we throw a parallel channel. Cricket, what the hell is that? They use them to make logos and stuff for shirts. Uh, I was like, oh, what the hell? <laughs> I didn't know that was some kind of toy or something. I was I like, no, I see something like that <laughs> since August. <laughs> it's not a rocket. It's a cricket. <laughs> Got to see it. You want to see it drop out below that, I think. But, yeah, yeah definitely some more downside. I know what it does, okay. Potentially here. Any, uh, you have a 110 put? It's trash. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm not familiar with them, but, uh, I mean, I've seen the ticker before. I just don't know anything about them. Uh, let's see. No flow. Nothing in the alert stream for five. Somebody bought uh, on the seventh. Bought these one fifteen calls, but that's about all I see. Bet they're not happy they did that. Unless it was a hedge for a short position, which it could have been. But yeah, she looks weak. 
Which are those? So earnings, next earnings, March 25th. Are you in this week's or did you get some time on them? Hello, Clarice. There's a pretty, a pretty big trade that risk rate February. Five and they financed those by selling the 320 puts. Uh, they collected $6.31 on that. That's a pretty bullish bet on uh, the S&P out to September. Next week, okay. The Q's, December 235, 13.5 thousand contracts. Is it just me or is Pete breaking up every other word? He's breaking. Gosh, darn it. I'll reset. Yeah, definitely looking weak. Well, good luck on those. I think you got a I think you got a good chance of those working out. How about now? Can you guys hear me now? Yes. Ah. I was about to come with an over. You might no, get sorry, a guys, bounce here off the bottom of this. Ask that question. You can see where it's going to drop There's below, but then right back guys. into this, <laughs> this descending channel here. Roulette bearish flow on WORK this week's 31 puts 327,000 behind it. Some more uh, WORK puts. Yeah, guys, the uh, trade Worked. that I was uh, seeing coming in, they bought the um, S&P spiders or the spy. September, they bought the 355 calls. And at the same time, they sold the 320 puts. That is a bullish risk reversal. They did 5,000 contracts. They collected $6.31. Uh, they also went out and got the Qs. Thousand contracts out to December two thirty five calls. They paid thirteen and a half bucks for that. Oh my God! They buying them more to put. That's for a longer term too. September and December. And they also had a buy right come through earlier. Ten thousand in the March six two thirty five calls on the queues. Let's go take a look at this work. See these 31s and 3150s for next week. Microsoft look Microsoft looking good right now. Some dark blocks in here too. 122. So 22 minutes ago at 2645. And twenty six fifty. Interesting. Love to see some puts come through on here uh, for this week. Yeah. Got a little bit of a power hour there, didn't we? Hell, sometimes it's just completely flat. We don't get anything. At least we got something.
So anyone that followed uh, the Cisco 49s that I posted in Black Box, if, if you don't want to swing these, they are risky uh, going into ER here. You're green. Take it if you, you know, if you're worried about the, the capital. Roulette bearish on DE, the February, this week's 165 puts at 76 cents. Sorry, Tariq. No worries, no worries. I just want to make sure somebody got it. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Teresa, Teresa, she remind me of a Juno story. <laughs> you have issues. <laughs> Hundred and fifty million for sale. All right. Well, at least we're scaling back. Yeah. H O N. Close this week. Hear about Trump's announcement. We didn't about do one. This week. We'll do one next week. Etc. If it happened, I did not hear. Frank, just keep in mind, Roku has ER this week. Yeah, nice move so on Honeywell. A lot of that is going to be uh, potentially ER positioning. Coming up onto some potential resistance there. Kind of right in this area that it's got to get out of. And then you got a couple bucks, potentially. Roulette bearish and yeah, I mean, you can't get uh, emotionally attached to a contract or you'll never make money. Let's pop on ZM eighty nine sixty six today. Again, maybe gets some love on Ring Central's ER if they report well. It was halted. Whoa, work is halted. What? <laughs> sure. Sure. And we got an echo on it. Work is uh, halted. No, right? Thank you, Mr. <laughs> it is the news halt. News, news halt. Hey. Who's buying them out? IBM. <laughs> Watson. Is this the buyout? Watson. <laughs> halt. That's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> that boy good. He show is good. You know him better as Joe the Policeman from the What's Going Down episode of That's My Mama. IBM. Nice job, Unwilling Full. Congrats. That seems like a really dumb purchase for IBM, but I figured if someone was going to buy them out, Natasha's like, I don't know if I could do it. It would be somebody that wants access to their F100 customers. She don't let me sell the thing. <laughs> so I, I, I wouldn't have. Not many people can take it. In I don't know. 
Well, dude, we do have. I know what IBM can do with that, but we'll see. And yeah, we have no uh, great trader. Nah, why would Microsoft buy them? I think you know. I've said this before, but I think when Microsoft wants them gone. Now, if they do get bought out, that's a different story. But the way that it stands, if Microsoft wanted them gone uh, or was ready for them to be gone, they, they'd they'd just crush them. Yeah, Bobby, I'm in a couple. I was watching those puts come in. But now I'm like, hmm, news halt. Let's see what it is. Let's see. Maybe they they got a buyout for uh, twenty dollars a share. That'd be sweet. See what the news is. Who knows when they'll actually put it out. Maybe it'll be quick. Maybe it won't be till this evening, tomorrow. We'll see. Microsoft. I'm looking out there to see if I can find anything. Microsoft. Windows. That was a good one. I almost said it. I couldn't help it. Even better would be... I ain't going to say no more about Voldemort. This would be the last thing. Like a news halt because they're being sued for stealing IP from Microsoft. uh, That would be awesome. The CEO for TV Ameritrade was talking about it earlier in the day. And he was talking about... They were talking about like trends and stuff from their clients. But anyway, he was just talking about the... They were talking about the volatility and how much it moves. And um, anyway, he was just saying like the one standard deviation like that moving the options this week he was saying uh it's like 89 bucks they were just talking about how crazy like it's expected to move around even just in this week that is crazy and given how far she ran when she dropped she didn't drop that badly brings back i gotta post this for somebody because there's somebody and i don't Stock Twitch drives me crazy, but um, there's somebody talking about all the calls (laughs) in work. And I'm like responding, those were at the bed. Did you not see all those puts? Okay, Mario, are you and Charlie doing a screen sh- a screen share in the morning too? Uh, we all are. Oh, okay. Seven Star just put both of them. So there's the option flow class, and then your screen share in the morning. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's look at one.
Yeah, we'll, we'll be done before Mike starts. You want to give out the times on those? Yeah, ours is at no. I'll type. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. How is level two looking on work? Uh, it's usually a mess right before uh, it unhalts, but let me go take a look. Holy Microsoft. <laughs> All I keep hearing in Black Box Discord is Microsoft, Microsoft, Microsoft. Let's see. Uh, I don't really see much yet. Showing 2640 by 2675. So, Bobby, nothing... Nothing yet. Hey, Natasha wants to hold this uh, Facebook overnight. One contract. We got the 215. She likes the way the daily chart looks. <laughs> I told her if she wanted to get more time, she's comfortable with Friday. Pete, I hope for Natasha it opens at 220. You'll never hear yeah, the end of it. Thank you. Me too. Me I'm trying to, like, throughout these whole periods, I'm aggressive. I'm yeah. more aggressive than he is. So yeah. I'm going to make some money. Sure you are. Thoughts on Ulta. I like Ulta. I'm still in Ulta. Let's see what Ulta looks like. Let's see if there's... Yeah, like uh, it, the it'll be funny pullback. if this Today news is like... Little pullback, which is uh, healthy. Big nothing see, burger. Here, guys. And we've got two minutes to go here. So... Alta's had a hell of a move on that breakout. Uh, we went right to the 127, overshot it. Uh, I'm still looking for the gap fill and Vega expansion going its earnings on Alta. So, uh, still like them. Facebook doesn't slap. <laughs> yeah, let's hope Facebook doesn't what? slap a bitch, he says. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So, here is here's your Alta daily. Uh, it sounds like. Uh... I'm still. It looks good. It's Work. Been a solid day Anybody listen to CNBC right. at the moment? Right. And we're getting it's a about push to go ding ding. Go. Forty seconds. Alexa, we're oh, getting a push here. Sorry. Sorry. Close, CNBC. Guys, All right. Um, how many monitors does Natasha have? I don't know. She's telling me to get her a whole set of. Look at Cisco. And AbV. We're up about 20% on AbV. Cisco, eh, they're moving better, and we are closed. Well, it looks like we're going to have to wait to see what works news is. Woo. Nice pop into the close. A lot of things. My pleasure. Natasha's dancing. That was a hell of a pop on Baba into the close. Look at that. Facebook, too. I think all of tech got a little lift there. All right. Well, I'm going to hang out for a few minutes and see what we happens. Got Ring and Melly first. We do have Ring is going to report if anybody wants to hear the results of that. I'll go ahead and, and – oh, my gosh. Has that been in here? The, it has <laughs> the whole day. All right, guys. I'm uh, – we'll hang out for a little bit. I'm going to be – Nobody out. warned me. Uh, Nobody told me. Weeks. Willie G, way to go. That's no, I didn't. Darling. No, I never leave it on all day nice intentionally. Nice. Usually I just turn it on and off throughout the day. But now that it's on, I'm just going to leave it on. Somebody has a bunch of alerts. Oh, 
Ooh, alerts like crazy. Nice job, Jenny B. Nice job. Great, great work. So let's see what happens with RNG. Should be out soon. I like Ring. I do. See how they report. After all, tomorrow is another day. Uh, Amy, se Amy 76, but it's consolidating right there. SRG reports purchase right of uh, Orpheus Medical. Resistance land no that I have. Um, sorry, Maria, just trying to talk quickly. Um, it's consolidating right there near a resistance line that I the have. Vita so reported. That, you know, Amazon could fall, uh, but it looks like beat. it's primed to go right through it. So we'll see. Uh, looks like a beat on EPS, a... I don't like, even though we have still have four days left on Sales, the contract. Sales, 2.9 billion miss like if I'm versus like 2.92 billion, billion estimated. Put, um, but it should just kept being supported right there by the 200. I was going to play down to BWAP, but I don't like the, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Adverum Biotechnologies announces $100 million public offering of common shares. I don't know who that is. ADVM Public offering. $100 million public offering. See you tomorrow, great trader. Unwilling full. Nice, man. Congrats. You guys can't hear uh, CNBC in the background, can you? So we're meeting, waiting on Mele and Mila and Ring. Ring. That was it. I was like, damn it. And then we have them later on. Molina, Voya, XPO, Eli. I don't know if we want to wait for all of them. Alexa, turn it down. Yeah, do you want to wait for those ones or you want to bounce before those? I'd like to see what MOH does, but yeah, I can I can I can watch that too. Melly reports Q4 EPS minus a dollar eleven consensus minus sixty six cents. They reported Q4 revenue six seventy four point three million. The consensus was six forty six point eight two million. Now, Sunny Money and KR had um, earnings to 
they reported 41 cents versus 22 cents, revenue 1.18 billion versus 1.1 billion. They see Q1, nine to 24 cents, consensus was eight cents. They see Q1 revenue 1.08 to 1.16 billion. The consensus was 1.01 billion. And they see full year 20 CapEx around 550 million. Goog hit 1507. I haven't been watching Goog. I mean, I think a lot of tech did well today. So, Pike, there will be some additional filters that are coming in. They're all on Ring the must list. be out. We just have to get them rolled out. 215. And did, what was the news on work? Did we find out? Did I completely miss it? And back down. I didn't see, see what news it does. on that. Interesting. And I still have them halted. Okay. Microsoft's still running up after hours. Well, good. Let it run. You you did well on it. And that's the way that you have to think of it. Ring Central reports Q4 EPS 22 cents. Consensus was 21 cents. They reported Q4 revenue 252.9 million. The consensus was 239.45. Yeah, there's still T1. On Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. CNBC doesn't know why work is halted, so. All right. Well, I don't, reports Q4 oh, here's EPS CHGG. I don't really care about them. But. Cents. Q4 revenue, 125.5 million. You too, Kickstart. 122.97. Ring Central sees Q1 EPS 18 to 19 cents. The consensus was 18 cents. Q1 revenue, 257 to 259 million. The consensus was 249.2 million. So decent on RNG. Decent report. I got to run. Hope you all have a great night. Enjoy trading with y'all today, and I'll see y'all bright and early in the morning. Bye, Bye King. King. Peace. Chegg sees Q1 revenue 122 to 125 million. The consensus was 120.55. Ring Central sees full year 20 EPS 93 to 94 cents, consensus 93 cents. They see full year 20 revenue 1.125 to 1.135 billion. The consensus was 1.10 billion. Chegg sees full year 20 up revenue a little bit. 22 to 527 million. The consensus was 520.25. Still no news on work. Uh, 
I got people saying work, like I'm, I'm reading on stock twits. Uh, work reopened, down 13%. No, I don't think so. Maria, do you still have work halted? Let me double check. Yes, they're still in. Yeah, they're still halted and they're still T1. Okay. So even just looking at the chart, there's nothing on time in sales. It's not moving. It's and there's, I mean, there's no candles since five till. Yeah, I was just curious because it. It sounds like there's some confusion. I'm there's people on stock so, twits saying it opened 13% down, but it's definitely still halted. So yeah. this, there was there was something on the fly that came out like right after it halted that said trading resumed, but it wasn't resumed. All right, guys. Well, I am going to call it a day. All right. So now we're waiting. I will be back OH tomorrow. And XPO. So I'll see you then. Yes, ma'am. Have a good night. I still don't have an outro. Yeah, we already knew about the uh, IBM thing. I don't, I mean, it's not halted on that. So, Freddie, come back and hang out tomorrow. Hope we'll see you then.